It's the Nidian, and I'm back with some Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay, a little bit of Rush on Atomica Desert. Like I said, Atomica Desert on Rush, great map. Conquest, horrible map. You know, night and day, night and day. But uh, we are the attackers, I'm going to get us straight out. We don't win this, we don't even get past the first couple objectives, but it was a hell of a lot of fun, so I thought I'd bring it to you guys. Um, and just I learned quite a bit from this map, actually couple different things and right there you'll see what the, I don't I was checking to see if that was three burst rifle or an automatic assault rifle because as we all know from game to game it changes you know just like the M16 from game to game it changes for whatever reason I don't know why these games decide to make three burst rifles and single shot rifles fully automatics one time and not the next but that's what you're gonna have I guess so that's what I was doing I was just checking it out and the beginning of this map here is a little slow I'm um, just trying to, you know, name of the game and Battlefield Bad Company 2, get some position, work your way up, because as you can see, the spawn point on this map is a very long distance away from the first couple objectives. So I'm just trying to work myself up, nice, calm, kind of stealth-like, get some uh, position for my team to start spawning on, or spawning off of me, and then we can get a stronghold and take the objectives. Unfortunately, we only get one. But like I said, it was a hell of a lot of fun. Um, other than that, I just hope everything's going well with everybody. I see that there's more bullshit in the gaming community involving the same people every single time. Go figure. Um, Wings will chalk it up for haters wanting to hate because, you know, he's grossly overinflating what he makes. So, you know, haters are going to hate because he's making money off of YouTube and you ain't. But uh, in all actuality, when are these guys going to realize that you know, there really there is haters that are gonna hate due to the money situation, but for the most part, people are just sick of fucking watching these four idiots uh, run in a circle, and then you know every month something goes awry. Uh, now you got commentators calling out other commentators, calling out other commentators. One minute they're friends, next minute they're calling people out for the same shit they're doing. Uh, it's a, overall it's a, just an overall joke and absolutely pathetic. Uh, I give a lot of credit to a couple videos I watched recently to uh, Chaos Silencer's video, which I'll link in the bottom. Uh, and then I watched a video from Nassau One, you know, and just pretty much saying, you know, what do you expect from these guys? They keep doing the same shit time and time again. Um, and he's right. We as a community, well, not me personally, because I unsubbed and, and I'm sick of this. these guys' crap months and months and months ago. But, uh,. As a whole, the majority of the community allows it to happen time and time again. You know, mainly, you know, I, I just don't understand Woody's gamer tag. You have a 40-year-old grown-ass man with kids, a wife. You know, he's obviously got a Fortune 500 job, or at least says he does. Um, just pull the bullshit time and time again. It's almost like he's trying to relive his life through YouTube as a younger person. With an IQ of four, uh, I, I, at this point, you know, it's either that or the guy has uh, partial brain damage. Possibly, I mean, I've had uh, I, I had a cousin who died recently that had brain damage, and even he had more common sense and self dignity than than that guy. I call him, uh, you know, he's Mr. Rogers' creepier brother, for the simple fact that you know, one minute he's nice, you know, he's almost like a Jeffrey Dahmer great in society but behind the scenes he's a sick fuck and uh you know that's what it boils down to the guy's pathetic human being uh manhood should come down from wherever manhood belongs and get their balls back because he doesn't deserve them and you know time and time again you got the wood the patented woody apology video i mean if i gave a shit i'd go count them up on his fucking page i'm sure there's probably at least 20 of them you know, apologizing for this or that. Uh, he's one of the most hypocritical guys I've ever watched on YouTube. You know, calling people out and doing for something and then not even a week later or at the same exact time doing it himself. Um, it's just pathetic. And I don't understand why the community allows this to keep going on. 
Uh, and then, you know, he makes an apology video and everybody that hated on him fucking, oh, much respect, Woody, much respect. No. Uh, respect's long gone, and at this point, it's a vicious, vicious cycle and a trend, and everybody should see that, and that's not, nothing's going to change. Um, until the community as a whole pulls together and stops these guys dead in their tracks and bring them back, brings them back down to reality where they belong. Uh, as far as white boy goes, you know, I, I just, he's just you know an uneducated young kid making some money, man, uh, with you know dick for life experiences other than living in his little bubble, much like uh, Wings of Redemption. Wings of Redemption comes off as a very smart guy to a lot of people, but again, you know, I'd chalk him up with the same little bubble as White Boy. Um, it is what it is. I don't expect nothing more, nothing less from these guys anymore. For the whole, you know, Alki David situation with the assisted suicide, everybody that believes that that it was honestly a joke is, a, is an idiot, an absolute fucking idiot, and I'm just going to get that out right right now. Um, it wasn't a joke. There was no joke tone about it. Except for all the childish little morons that la actually laughed about it. And then, because, you know, I watched DJ Keemstar's pathetic attempt at a save face video. And, honestly, it was more pathetic than one of, uh, Woody's, one of Woody's 20, 30 apology videos for everything he does. Um, and he played a little clip about of the draft where Alki was talking about the sister suicide. And you hear Alki say that he's going to do it. You hear a bunch of people laugh. You hear DJ Keemstar say, are you for real? And you hear Alki go, yeah, I'm dead, you know, pretty much dead serious. Uh, not in those words, if I remember right. He said something different, but that was the gist of it. And then, you know, Keemstar hits stop real quick and sees, says, clearly, you can see that that was a joke. No. What part of that was a joke? Where can I clearly see that that was a joke? When he says, no, I'm dead serious. Right then, I should have said, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a joke, man. Look, I know he's a weird guy. I could tell that by the first time I seen him talk. Uh, I get his sense of humor in a point. Like, I even laughed at his last little rant video he put up about the 12-year-olds. It was actually funny. Even though the guy's a moron, I laughed. You know, I'm not going to deny that. But the whole assisted suicide thing was not a joke. And it, it not funny whatsoever, even if it was a joke. Um... And he even didn't. Why would he wasn't laughing whatsoever? Um, it was obviously real, and it became a joke after the shitteth hitteth the faneth super fast, super hard. Um, but Alki's right. Uh, nobody's gonna stop him. Money makes the world go round, unfortunately, and you're gonna have people that do it. One thing I'm extremely concerned about, and not because I know this person personally or whatever, but you have. I listen to the list of people that are still going out there, and now all of a sudden, this is what concerns me about this one, and that, about insane vixen going. Um, you know, she's a young, attractive, naive girl, obviously. Um, you know, with the whole GX20, JX23 thing, and then all of a sudden you have, how do you go from 50,000 subs to 25,000 subs are only allowed to join, to all of a sudden a girl being invited that has less than 10,000 subs. That doesn't even make sense. There's one motive behind it and only one motive, and that's because, like I said, she's a good-looking girl. So I don't know if she'll ever listen to this video, whether she gives a shit, whether she wants to think she knows what she's doing. I don't, I'm don't. i going to chalk her up to the dumb sorority girl. You know, and for those of you frat guys and college guys know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm going to chalk her up with the whole dumb sorority girl crowd and, uh, you know, I hope she knows what she's doing because I think she's going to step in. She's been she's stepping into a world she has no idea what she's getting into. Hopefully I'm wrong, but uh, I can see nothing but bad things coming out of this for her. I mean, maybe maybe she'll, uh, maybe she knows what she's doing and the money is more enticing than what I can see going down. So, but that's my take on things, guys. This community needs... Uh, I don't know what it needs to be honest. Um, there's not much you can do. Nobody's hating on these guys. Well, there, like I said, there's a majority of people hating on these guys for the money, but for the most part, and people in my boat are just sick of the bullshit, time and time again, and the dragging down of this community time and time again, and it's all like within the last year. 
especially within the last six months, and it always involves the same the same people, like I've said. So I don't know what the community needs, you know, as a whole, we need to pull our heads out of our asses, stop these guys in their tracks, bring them back down to reality. Unfortunately, I doubt it's ever going to happen. And what really needs to happen is some of these companies that these people are involved, associated with, have partners with, need to start putting the crack down. Uh, whether this guy brings you in money or not, you need to start putting the crack down and start making examples of these guys and bring them back down. And I am guarantee as soon as that starts happening, things are going to start changing. Uh, right now you have you know, a handful of people from certain businesses, uh, partnerships, yada, 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 thumbing things up, saying this, saying that, but nothing ever gets done about it on that on the other side of the fence where it really matters and that's where the money lies so hopefully something comes out something comes on about that and that's it um, some people you know every time these guys apologize much respect here much respect there no the respect's gone and been gone and will always be gone and for all the people on, that are you know not going to throw names out there stop acting like a bunch of pussies start throwing some names out there start calling people out if I do something bad at work I'm getting my finger pointed at me I'm getting called out it's called real life it's called the real world stop being a bunch of pussies and buck up and that's all I got to say about that um, so you know I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay I hope I didn't piss too many of you off but that's my opinion on things and you know I'm not some stupid persona behind a TV uh, computer screen like a lot of these guys portray. They're one way when they're talking to you and talking shit, and one way when you see in real life. This is the person you're going to get. If you see me in real life, I'll tell you the same thing. Hopefully you're not on the end of a fist. So, Devastator HD, I give you a shout-out right now. You know how to play some Battlefield, man. You, Much props to you. So, everybody else, have a great day. Stay clear of the bullshit and let's turn this shit around. Peace.